The woods were quiet. Too quiet. Do you ever feel like we're being watched? Josh shivered, pulling his jacket tighter. Don't be silly, Aaron laughed, but her voice wavered a bit. They continued hiking, the only sound their crunching footsteps on the dusty trail. Then a twig snapped. Somewhere nearby, something moved. They rounded a bend and bumped into a lone hiker. He was tall and gaunt, his face hidden by a wide-brimmed hat. Lost? The man rasped, his voice like dry leaves. Aaron shook her head, just enjoying the scenery. The man's gaze lingered on them a moment too long. As he continued down the trail, they noticed strange symbols carved into the trees. Aaron and her friends exchanged uneasy glances. The encounter had left them with a sense of foreboding. The forest, once a place of beauty and tranquility, now seemed to close in around them. The air felt heavier and the shadows seemed to stretch longer. They couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. The strange symbols carved into the trees were unlike anything they had ever seen. They were intricate and seemed to tell a story, but one that was beyond their understanding. Erin traced one of the symbols with her finger, feeling a chill run down her spine. What could they mean? Who had carved them and why? The group huddled together, whispering their concerns. Should they turn back or continue on their planned route? The trail ahead seemed to beckon them, but the memory of the gaunt man and the eerie symbols made them hesitate. They decided to press on, hoping to find answers or at least a way out of the unsettling forest. They pulled out their map, trying to make sense of their surroundings. The trail they were on was supposed to be well-traveled, but it felt like they were the only ones there. The map showed no indication of the strange symbols or any landmarks that matched what they were seeing. It was as if they had stepped into another world. With a determined look, Aaron led the group forward. They moved cautiously every snap of a twig and rustle of leaves putting them on edge. The forest seemed to whisper around them, the wind carrying faint, unintelligible murmurs. They couldn't shake the feeling that they were not alone, that something or someone was watching their every move. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the trees grew denser, their branches intertwining overhead to form a canopy that blocked out the sun. The path became narrower, and the strange symbols more frequent. Each step felt like a journey into the unknown, and the sense of unease grew stronger with every passing moment. Unbeknownst to them, a shadowy figure watched from the darkness, its eyes following their every move. The forest held many secrets, and they were about to uncover one that would change their lives forever. The trail ahead was fraught with danger, and the true test of their courage was yet to come. This map is useless, Josh grumbled, shoving it into his pocket. The sun was already starting to dip below the tree line. There's got to be a faster way down. Aaron pointed to a barely there trail branching off the main path. Are you sure? Josh hesitated. Aaron was already venturing down the overgrown path. Come on, scaredy cat! The light was fading quickly beneath the dense canopy. Aaron swore she heard whispers following them, weaving in and out of the rustling leaves. Did you hear that? She whispered, her voice tight. Hear what? Josh scanned the woods nervously. A sudden gust of wind sent a shiver down Aaron's spine. It felt colder now, the air thick with an unnatural chill. They stumbled upon a clearing, a dilapidated log cabin standing in the center like a forgotten sentinel. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the rustling of leaves and the distant call of a crow. The cabin's wooden planks were weathered and cracked, telling tales of years gone by. Vines crept up its sides, as if nature itself was trying to reclaim it. Hello? Aaron called out her voice echoing in the stillness. The door creaked open as if inviting them in. The hinges groaned in protest, revealing a dark interior that smelled of damp wood and decay. Dust motes danced in the shafts of sunlight that pierced through the broken windows. 
Inside, they found a dusty journal, its leather cover worn and brittle. The pages were filled with frantic scribblings and disturbing drawings. Each page seemed to tell a story more horrifying than the last. The journal spoke of a presence in the woods, something ancient and evil. It described strange noises in the night, shadows that moved on their own, and whispers that seemed to come from nowhere. Aaron's hands trembled as she turned the pages, her eyes widening with each revelation. The drawings depicted twisted, nightmarish creatures lurking in the shadows, their eyes glowing with malevolence. The scribbling spoke of rituals and sacrifices, of people who had vanished without a trace. The final entry was the most chilling of all. It spoke of a night when the presence had come for the writer, of a terror that could not be escaped. The last words were scrawled in a shaky hand. It is here. It is coming for me. Aaron and her friends exchanged uneasy glances. The cabin, once a mere curiosity, now felt like a trap. The air grew colder and the shadows seemed to lengthen. They knew they had to leave, but the question lingered. Would they make it out before the presence found them too? As they read, a blood-curdling scream pierced the silence. They scrambled out of the cabin, their blood running cold. Something was out there, and it was hunting them. They ran, branches whipping at their faces, the sound of their pursuer closing in behind them. The night was thick with an eerie fog, making it hard to see more than a few feet ahead. The moonlight barely penetrated the dense canopy of trees, casting long, menacing shadows that seemed to move and shift with every step they took. We have to get out of here, Josh gasped, his breath coming in ragged pants. But the woods seemed to twist and turn, leading them in circles. Every path they took seemed to bring them back to the same spot, a clearing with a gnarled old tree that looked like it had been there for centuries. The air was thick with the scent of pine and damp earth, but underneath it all was a faint metallic smell that made their stomachs churn. They could hear the sound of their pursuer's footsteps growing louder, the crunch of leaves and twigs underfoot. It was getting closer. Josh's heart pounded in his chest, each beat echoing in his ears like a drum. He glanced over at Sarah, who was struggling to keep up her face pale and streaked with dirt and sweat. We can't keep running like this, he thought. We need to find a place to hide. Suddenly, Sarah stumbled and fell, her ankle twisting painfully. She cried out in pain, clutching at her leg. Josh skidded to a stop and rushed back to her side. We have to keep moving, he urged, his voice trembling with fear. But Sarah shook her head, tears streaming down her face. I can't, she sobbed. I can't go any further. Josh looked around frantically, searching for any sign of shelter. There, through the trees, he spotted a small cave, barely visible in the darkness. He helped Sarah to her feet, supporting her weight as they hobbled towards it. The entrance was narrow and overgrown with vines, but it was their only hope. They squeezed inside, the cold, damp air chilling them to the bone. They huddled together in the darkness, listening to the sound of their pursuer's footsteps growing fainter. For now, they were safe. But they knew it was only a matter of time before it found them again. And when it did, they would have to be ready. A root snagged Aaron's foot, sending her sprawling. She looked up to see Josh disappearing into the darkness. Josh! She screamed, scrambling to her feet. But it was too late. He was gone. Panic welled inside her. She was alone, lost in the woods with something sinister on her trail. Aaron stumbled through the woods, her clothes torn, her body trembling. The whispers grew louder, seeming to come from all directions. Then she saw it. A pair of glowing eyes fixed on her from the darkness. She froze, her breath catching in her throat. The creature stepped into the moonlight, its form tall and grotesque, its features twisted into a terrifying grin. 
Erin backed away, her heart pounding against her ribs. She was trapped, the creature blocking her only path. Leave me alone, she shouted, her voice raw with terror. The creature only grinned wider, its eyes burning into her soul. It took a step closer, and Erin knew there was nowhere left to run. The creature lunged. Erin screamed, the sound echoing through the silent woods. Then, silence. The only sound was the gentle rustling of leaves, as if the forest itself was trying to erase what had happened. But the symbols carved into the trees remained, a chilling reminder that some secrets are better left buried.